Hi, here we are to talk about Xcode again, and uh, I'd like to talk about creating custom table view cells. So I have a simple example here, and I'll, I'll the code for this will be posted on GitHub, and you can uh, you, there, there'll be a link in the video, and you can you can examine it for yourself, and we'll go over, and you can build it for yourself too, right? Um, this is just a simple example with a table view, okay? And if I you know build it and run it in the simulator. We will see any moment now. We will see some cat pictures, okay? Hopefully no one will sue me. I just took these random images off of Google. Um, and you can see this is a custom table view cell. It's, you know, it's got custom colors and custom labels. And there's some interactive elements like the switch and the button, right? Um, so essentially, you know, in a nutshell, um, in storyboard here, I've created a cell, set the, any moment here, uh, I've set the, the style to custom, and then I created a file over here called cat table view cell swift, and I, I defined a, um, a class called cat table view cell. And in storyboard, when I select the cell here, I assigned the cat table view cell as the class for this cell. So now, you know, this cell is going to act like a small view controller for this table view cell. And if we look at the cell here, you can see it has all your typical stuff you might put in a view controller. Um, you'll see there's a bunch of IV outlets. So once I've assigned this class as the class for that cell, then I can make IB outlets and IB actions just like you would in a regular view controller, right? So I, I and I've done that here. I've set up, um, you know, an IB outlet for each one of the labels in the image view and the message button and the like switch. Um, and then I set up an IB action for the message button and the like switch, right? So and you can see these here, okay? Now, in order for my um, table view to display these custom cells, you know, I just did the standard, you know, table view action here. I gave this um, table view a identifier called cat cell, and in my view controller file, um, I'm calling on that when I call a, you know, DQ reusable cell with identifier, right? So here's cat cell. And now when I do this, I need to cast this cell as a cat table view cell. And then from there, all the IB outlets and other properties of the um, cat cell is, are, are available here. So you can see I'm, I'm getting the cat name label, like switch, age label, okay? So to capture interactivity with the cell, I gave the cell a delegate property and I assign, you know, whenever whenever we load the cell up here, I assign self as the delegate. So so cat cells, you know, they delegate their their actions to this view controller. Okay. And you know, if we look at the cat table view cell, you can see I used the um, the delegate pattern here. So I created a, pr a a protocol called cat cell delegate, and then I you know define some functions that cat cell will, you know, emit, right? And um, then view controller is going to declare itself as the delegate for the cell. And then view controller will also, you know, say that it conforms to the cat cell delegate. And so I need to, you know, define the functions down here that cat cell is going to, you know, send out to us, right? So anyway, so that's, that's pretty much the whole thing in a nutshell, right? So, um, why don't we stop the video here, and then I'll make another video to follow this up where I'll just go through the steps one by one and rebuild the cell, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's interesting and useful to everybody out there.